Well, tonight we have the future stars of New Zealand politics right here on the show tonight. It is the Youth Wing Backbenders panel. We are talking housing, we're talking zero-hour contracts, legalising cannabis, and a whole lot more. This is Backbenchers. Welcome, Omelas Chapin. Let's rock and roll. Tanakway, won't you look at this? What a patch. This is like an election year. Big round of applause to yourselves. Fantastic. Good to have you here. Good to have you here tonight. And what a show. As I said before, of the future stars are on the backbenchers. The backbenchers pie pie. So let's get straight into it. Let's start with uh, the Young Nats Vice President, Sean Wallace. Yeah, Wallace. How's it going? Good. Good to have you here, mate. Good to be here. How are you tonight? Mm. What's that? How are you? Good. How are you? Nice jacket. Right. Bloody thank, nice jacket. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Noticing the fashion already. That's the, uh, <laughs> that's the young Nats there. All right. Quick three questions. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, go. All right. Here we go. If you could cryogenically freeze one politician because they're that good, who would it be? Winston, because he probably needs it soon. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, if you could pull one person's ponytail, <laughs> who would it be? Oh, jeez. Who knows? One person. Probably my girlfriend to wind her up. All right, okay. <laughs> uh, and um, why should young people out there join the Young Nats? Look, we're a party that believes in less government and more freedom, and if you want to be part of an organisation that's got over 5,000 members and supporters, join us. Well, okay, very good. Welcome to the show, Sean Wallace. Uh, and will you please welcome the Young Labour President, Katie Wilson. Kia ora. Kia ora, how are you? Good, thanks. How are you? Very good. Or oh, Nihau. <laughs> yeah. Why should, your question, why should young people join Young Labour? All people should join Young Labour because we are a party that cares in fairness, opportunities and equity for all. Okay, very good. Uh, second question, what politician once said, two rights don't make a wong? Phil Twyford or Winston Peters? Winston Peters? Yes. Question three, is Wilson a New Zealand surname? Yes. All right, very good. Welcome to the show, Katie Wilson. Very good, Labour. And will you please welcome Young Act representative Kimberly Lawrence. Kimberly, welcome to the show, Kimberly. How are you? I am fantastic. All right, you go past a homeless person, would you give them $2 or give them a pamphlet outlining Act's compassionate nation policy? <laughs> I feel like you've asked a similar question on yeah, this I show have. before. Yeah, uh, yeah um, I'm going to echo the same answer. I'd give him two dollars. I'd probably give him ten. Oh, uh, okay, very <laughs> good. Okay. And uh, second question: Why should young people out there join Young Act? Um, we just believe in getting the government out of your life and letting you live it the way you want to. And finally, you're at a party and someone is quietly smoking pee in the corner. <laughs> Do it, people quietly smoke pee? I, well, I, 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 I'll ask Damien Christy very soon. He'd know, but uh, uh, is, it, is it their choice to smoke it? Absolutely. All right, very good. Welcome to the show. Uh, and will you please welcome the Young Greens co-convener, Anna Martin. <laughs> Hello, Anna. Hey. Very good. Okay, your questions. Should the Greens move more to the right or more to the left? I think that they're going in a perfectly fine direction that they are at the moment, so I'm... Okay. They're doing good. All right, okay. And if you could cryogenically freeze one politician and bring them back, who would it be? Kate Shepherd. Oh, okay, very good. <laughs> I, very I, I don't think any current MP de okay. <laughs> deserves to be frozen, so definitely we'll, we'll bring back Kate Shepherd. Oh, she bring, she bring truly represents us. Totally. And <laughs> why should young people join the Young Greens? Um, because we are a young progressive party and we are the only party that's dealing with the real issues, such as climate change and inequality, which are going to be affecting future generations. Good to have you on the show, Anna. Uh, and last but not least, will you please a uh, big welcome to the New Zealand First Youth Representative, Amy Uluar. Amy. Oh. How are you? I'm good. Very nice good. to be here. Bring, bring some style to, uh, to the back benches with the, with the yeah, fascinating. I love bringing it. Bringing a little um, of Rotorua to Wellington. Ah, <laughs> yes, fantastic. All right, question to number one. Are there plans to cry, cry gently freeze Winston Peters? 
Colin? Are there plans to cryogenically freeze Winston Peters? No, Winston Peters is the best leader in the house right now. All right. Is he already cryogenically frozen? <laughs> no, no, not at all. All right. And finally, <laughs> does New Zealand have a youth wing or not? We officially don't have a youth wing, but we have a very active, strong, passionate group of youth in our party. Very good. Good to have you on, Amy. And Damien Christie. How are you? Oh, I'm going to ignore that slur. For, you know, it's ironic that uh, slur about the peace smoking before, um, because you went out and did your word on the street today. Mm -hmm. We got a phone call afterwards, someone complaining that there was this young presenter, TV presenter, running around high on drugs, they reckon. Yeah. They reckon you were high. <laughs> they suggested that we drug test you. I said, yes. Wallace is actually one of the healthiest, cleanest living people. And you, you know who else was a guy that, you know, people thought was high on drugs, but he was actually just energy, yeah. energetic? Jesus Christ. So, you know, yeah. people thought he had some weird <laughs> ideas, just turned out to be the saviour, you know, the prophet. So, anyway, <laughs> with that, uh, with, there were some really good feel-good moments uh, this week. We often like to take the piss, but uh, this week there were some really sweet moments in the news. So let's look at some of those. At number five, Iran signs a deal with the US. In return for pulling back on its nuclear program, it will receive billions of dollars in sanction relief. Advice to the Greeks, build a mob. Quick, just pretend to. At number four, this little boy doing his homework by the light of a McDonald's restaurant captured the world's hearts and raised his family a ton of money. Number three, it's not the only contribution McDonald's has made to education this week, with claims this toy has been expanding the vocab of Kiwi kids. <laughs> At number two, indie muso darling Ryan Adams arrived in Auckland. And forget visiting Starship, this guy went and helped a damn stray cat, causing a storm on Twitter and launching the hashtag Cemetery Cat. What a guy. And finally, number one, we love to see the oldies enjoying themselves. And here's a really beautiful moment when everyone's favourite embarrassing royal tells a photographer to f*** off. Aww. What was it? Wasn't it a classic, Damien? Take the fucking photograph. <laughs> Yeah, we bleeped that for a reason while it's the first time, right? Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Oops. <laughs>